Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Random Vlogging! <laughs> uh, today, I want to talk about something that uh, has been happening for years, to be 100% honest, but for whatever reason, I'm noticing it really, really, really bad uh, right now with everything that's going on. Um... And uh, it's not, and I think the thing that's upsetting me the most is the fact that this is not just limited to one particular field or one particular topic. Uh, we have become, we have perfected the idea of you're either with us or against us to massive, very, very horribly evil proportions. Now, what I'm talking about is, uh, to give you a very easy example that you can literally go to Twitter or anywhere on the internet and find about a thousand examples of it in less than a minute, is uh, politics in the U.S. right now. Um, for those of you outside the U.S. that may not know, uh, this is the last year of our current president's uh, second term. Uh, and we have a term limit for presidents, uh, meaning um, they can only run for, uh, they can only be president for two terms. So he's about to be out and we're going to have a new president. Uh, and at least in the U.S., campaigning for, um, uh, campaigning for a presidential election starts about a year before the election, um, sometimes about a year and a half. So since uh, last year, uh, around, I don't know, last summer, We've been getting people uh, talking about making presidential bids and all these things. Uh, and now it's been going on for long enough that they're actually starting to narrow down the candidates. Uh, for the most part, the Democrats, which is the liberal party in uh, U.S. politics, uh, have kind of weeded out everyone except for Bernie Sanders, uh, who is uh, a, a very much kind of a, a socialist idealist. Um, uh, and Hillary Clinton, who is uh, wife of former President Bill Clinton, uh, and um, is running on a feminist platform. Uh, so we have those two there, and then the Republican Party, which is the conservative party in American politics, uh, has about 42.5 billion candidates, um, which has basically been narrowed down to Donald Trump. Yes, that Donald Trump. He's trying to run our country for reals. Uh, Ted Cruz, uh, and then there's a couple others that I can't remember off the top of my head uh, that are are kind of in a distant third um, uh, for the uh, Republican nomination. Uh, the way that American politics works, uh, we have never had a president that has not been, uh, since we've had this two-party system, uh, we've never had a non uh, two-party president. Uh, every single one of them has been either a Republican or a Democrat. There has never been an independent president um, uh, elected. So technically all you do if you vote for an independent um uh, candidate is you help whatever um, uh, whatever uh, of the two big parties uh, that you didn't want to help um, because you're taking away votes from uh, another thing. Like uh, voting for an independent candidate is r literally a waste of time um, because they're never going to get elected president. So um, if you look at what's happening right now, people are losing their shit over this election. And it's not just, you know, an argument of, of whose policies are better or who's a better candidate or even who's a better person. If you disagree with someone on what candidate you support, they will demonize you to the point where they will say horrible, disgusting things to your face. And I'm talking about very rational individuals. Um, I'm not just talking about the crazies on the outside that are the very, very, very vocal minority. I have seen people that I sincerely respect and admire go into name-calling um, competitions with people simply because they think, you know, Clinton would make a better Democratic candidate than Sanders. I mean, this is bonkers. And this is literally everywhere. We first saw the biggest... Um, 
example of it uh, during the Gamergate scandal. Uh, despite despite what most of the media will tell you about it, uh, the Gamergate uh, uh, scandal was significantly more complex. Um, there was a lot of good points on both sides, but the biggest issue with it was the fact that it devolved into you're either with us or against us. The entire thing, anyone that made mention of Gamergate or anti-Gamergate literally turned to you, hey, you are either with us or you are against us. There is no middle ground. Uh, and for something as complex as what that actually was about, uh, it's, it's bonkers um, that anyone would even consider going, well, no, it's very simple. You're either with me or against me. Um, that phrase itself uh, is actually uh, what's called a logical fallacy. A logical fallacy is something that you use to lie to people, to convince them that you're right when you're not. Uh, that particular lo uh, that particular logical fallacy is referred to as the black or white fallacy. What you do when you do this, um, you uh, create a situation where you claim there are only two alternatives, and you will have your alternative, and you will make that look as good as you can, and then you will have sorry, it's something. Sorry, and then you will have another alternative and you will make it completely incapable of being chosen. Let's take Gamergate, for example. Uh, you had the anti-Gamergate uh, movement where it was either you are for women's rights or you're a misogynist pig that wants all women to die and be raped every single day. That's not true. And if you look at the actual Gamergate side, it was either you are pro-ethics in video games journalism, or you are horrible, disgusting people that are villainizing people and are trying to destroy the entire world and corrupt it and make sure that you're the only voice that can ever be heard. Neither one of those is true. Neither one of them has ever been true in the entirety of anything. And this is what we keep seeing over and over and over again. Look at uh, the Bernie bros and... Uh, uh, oh, what was it? The... Oh, I can't remember what I think it was Hillary bitches or something like that. Like the name calling has become massive and somewhat creative to a point. Um, but uh, you you'll listen to these uh, like I will see uh, Democrats, you know, people that are all in the same political party that are ripping each other's throats out. Uh, if uh, we were talking about Hillary Clinton, if you are a female and you do not support Hillary Clinton, then you are a horrible person. You are betraying your very gender, and you should be ashamed of yourself. That, again, perfect example of a black and white uh, equation. You have either you support yourself, or you're a horrible, disgusting person that deserves to die. And this is literally everywhere it happens with Bernie Sanders. You know, uh, his is the idea of, hey, either you support him because he's smart, uh, uh, and and he's trying to uh, topple the uh, oh what is it the um, it's not oligarchy anyway the rich people ruling or uh, you're uh, uh, they actually have the three options but it's basically two because the the uh, uh, the the two bad options are either you're super super rich and and conceited and and want to exploit everybody in the world so that only you can make money or you're far too stupid to understand politics and you're just eating up what group one is telling you. And this is literally every single candidate I could go through this. And we see this, like I said, we saw it in the Gamergate uh, movement. Uh, we are seeing it now with everything from... Uh, <laughs> I'm not kidding here. I've seen it for, for music artists. Uh, Kanye West has developed an entire pitch. I think he has an elevator pitch for this idea. Um, and most of it is based around how awesome Beyonce is. Um, but literally, we see it everywhere. We have turned your either with me or against me into the go-to uh, go support for every argument in existence. And it sickens me. It saddens me. It's gotten me to the point where I can't, uh, I can't go on social media at all without uh, being afraid that I'm going to start getting a panic attack from just listening to people spread lies over and over and over again. Um, it was uh, uh, the, the same thing with uh, like the Fine Bros debacle. 
Uh, you had, uh, again, you're with us or against us mentality. Anyone that supported the Fine Brothers was for corruption and blah, 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 blah. And anyone uh, that uh, was against the Fine Brothers um, was, uh, 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 was attacking uh, uh, content creators and, and was, uh, or no, uh, I think they were the ones that wanted a free ride and, and don't understand how uh, everything in the world costs money and, and, you know, these are the same people that are pirating movies, blah, 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 blah. Like, it's, it's, it's insane how much we just kind of expect it now. And uh, it, it shouldn't be that way. Um, and it's really, really sad. And like I said, it, it used to be that it was just the extremists that did this. Again, the black, and, uh, the black or white fallacy is used when you can't actually win the argument. Logical fallacies in general are used when you don't have real facts to support it. Anytime you hear a logical fallacy, you can pretty much discredit the person that is saying it. Not the thing that they're arguing, because it could just be that they don't understand what the actual support of that idea is. Um, uh, but as soon as somebody uses a logical fallacy like black or white, or uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones, I have an entire thing, like the bandwagon, or my favorite one because they use it so much as a slippery slope uh, logical fallacy, which is basically, well, if you do this, then this and this and this and this, and eventually, you know, we're going to be marrying, you know, our dogs. You know, that's what's called a slippery slope fallacy. And uh, it's, uh, 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 anytime you hear someone using one of these things, you can pretty much go, okay, I can't believe anything that you're saying because you have just lied to me. That is an untrue statement. It doesn't work that way. It never will. The slippery slope doesn't ever actually happen. Um, the thing that makes it so uh, uh, appealing is the idea that there is logic built into it by going, well, this could happen. And you sit there and go, well, technically, yeah, that is possible. Well, then this could happen. Well, yeah, technically that's possible. But predicting the future through this slippery slope thing, it, it's in, it doesn't work that way. Um, and so all of these logical fallacies have a shred of truth in them that makes people believe them. But they're all lies, every single one of them. So the next time you see someone talking about, well, you know, if you're a woman, then you should be supporting Hillary. Or, you know, unless, uh, or, or saying things like, if you support Gamergate, then you're a misogynist pig. Um, anytime you hear someone saying that, uh, your first response should be, well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Now I know I can't trust uh, what you say about this topic because you've just lied to me. And their response is always going to be something, well, no, 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 because this, and they will have all this support. That, that technically backs up their false statement. And it's all cherry picking and uh, uh, just falsified statements and, and all this stuff. None of it's true. And this is true about literally every single one of them. It doesn't matter which side of the argument you're on. Pro-Gamergate, anti-Gamergate, pro-Hillary, you know, anti-Hillary, pro-choice, pro-life, you know, whoever, whatever you believe, if you have to use a logical fallacy to get people to believe what it is you want them to, then you have failed. You are lying to people to get them to believe you. Even if you are arguing something that's true, if you have to use lies to get people to believe it, then it's a lie. It can't be true if the only reason that people believe it is because they are told a lie. It's not how the truth works. So yeah, guys, anyway, um, I just wanted to talk about this subject because it's it's so prevalent right now. It's prevalent everywhere. Like, even Dungeons & Dragons, like one of the greatest games ever. One of the things that I love spending my time playing and DMing and all that stuff I have heard your with us or against us arguments for Dungeons and Dragons. Well, if you're a rogue and you're not using uh, short swords, then you're just an idiot, okay? You rogues have to. You can't use the dagger. You know, it's not a high enough damage die. Um, or a million other things. You know, if you're a bow hunter and you don't take the sharpshooter feat, then you are simply just a waste of space and you shouldn't be playing the game. Guys, stop it. Please, guys, please, for my sake, when you start seeing people do this, and I'm going to try 
and do this on Twitter until it gets to the point where I get attacked mercilessly, which will probably happen about five minutes after I start because that's the climate on the internet right now. Um, if you see somebody using a logical fallacy argument, specifically the with us or against us, the black and white fallacy, call them out on it. Just go, that is the black and white logical fallacy. It is false. And end it. I want to see if we can get people to do this. I want to see if, hopefully, if we bring this to the forefront, it will at least get some of the more rational people to start understanding and maybe think why it is they're actually supporting the things that they support. Right now, I think we have a lot of people that are going to vote for a president, not because they think they're going to do a good job, but because they feel that if they don't vote for them, that they're a horrible, disgusting human being because of all of this hatred. Um, and I know there were a lot of people that uh, supported or fought against Gamergate for the exact same reason. I know there are a lot of people that uh, supported or uh, fought against uh, gay marriage, um, reproductive rights, um, literally, uh, Every hot button topic probably in the last, I want to say five, five to ten years, there is a growing majority of people that are only voting for it because they believe these black or white uh, fallacies. And that's horrible. It's one of the reasons our country is dying right now. It's really, really sad. So anyway, guys, for me. Next time you see someone on Twitter or YouTube or anyone else. Just real quickly, you know, you can delete it afterwards because you will get attacked. I got attacked for a single post about Planned Parenthood. Uh, you'll, you'll get attacked. Trust me on this one. Um, just put in there, that's a black and white fallacy. Or that's a black or white logical fallacy. And just leave it at that. And watch what happens. Let's see if we can get a few of them to actually look up what that is. Start realizing what it is that they're saying. And maybe we can bring some reason back to this country uh, and to this planet because this isn't just uh, an American thing. This is all over the world. Um, so yeah, that's my little rant today. Sorry for being negative, but it's just, it's gotten to me real bad and I want to see it stop. So anyway, that's all for me today. Um, tomorrow I will be doing uh, a Valentine's Day stream. So please, please tune into my Twitch channel to see that. Uh, otherwise, again, that's all for me today, and I will see you guys tomorrow on my Twitch channel, all right? Bye-bye!